Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to transfer sketches from Quick Surface into SOLIDWORKS. The reason for this is that you may have Quick Surface Lite or you use uh, just the normal Quick Surface and you want to transfer only the sketches that you created and then finish your work in SOLIDWORKS. So I'm going to go through this um, workflow and help you understand the most efficient way of doing this. Let's create our first 2D sketch. It's just a cross section. I'll just pick it somewhere here because this is where I would like it to be. And then I will create my sketch. I'm going to use extract primitives and start brushing to extract my lines only. Just for the main body, like this one. Now I can go back and with manually I can hold the control key and intersect this uh, feature so I can get a close profile because this is what I need. Optionally we can create also the circles just by selecting the fit circle command and brush over the area where the circles are. Don't need to be precise but uh, just capture points that define your circles. I can just go back and have my 2D sketch I would like to say that this is a 2D sketch, but it's positioned in 3D space. The correct way of communicating with other software is just to export from the main export button. Select and click on the export. Now here you have two options to export as a step or IGES. When you export curves, you must use the IGES file format. This is where you can export your information. I will cancel for now and I will show you that I created another sketch somewhere in space. How Quick Surface works, it just takes whatever is visible and this is what will be exported. So one option is you just hide and export this first sketch here as an IGES and then you can go back and export the other sketch as a separate file for example and then you can name it uh, differently. Uh, here, so you can have two separate uh, IGES files that you need. Let's go to SOLIDWORKS now and I'm going to go to File, Open and we'll select my IGES file. Before I continue, it's really important to make the following. You go to the Options and then make sure that this option is enabled. If you don't have this option enabled, SOLIDWORKS will not import the curves from your IGES file. This is really important and this is the reason for this uh, demonstration. So you must select free curves and points as sketch from the option. Then you can press OK. Now you're ready to continue, you press open. In this way SOLIDWORKS will bring this as a curves into uh, SOLIDWORKS and we'll have them in space in the correct orientation. Now let's try to build our proper um, um, solid body here. If this is somewhere randomly spaced in, in the world coordinate system, as you can see here, this is not aligned to my uh, plane. What I can do is the following. Let me just hide the main planes so you don't get confused. I'm going to select a reference geometry and create a plane. Now I can just pick three points here on this sketch and this will create a reference plane for me. Then I can just go and start creating my sketch. In this sketch you can use the convert entities option and you can just pick you know, the, you can select chain so it can get more information. It's automatically just um, selected everything and I can just press OK or I can continue and extract also the circles that I created. When I press OK, now this will be my correct features into SOLIDWORKS. I can just select these and hide my reference sketches that I imported. As you can see now I have my sketch correctly uh, created, then I can just go to the features and I can pick this uh, uh, sketch. Let me just uh, start an exit. I can just select my sketch, 
it's a 2D sketch, I can just press extrude and I can create my solid bodies and I can start rebuilding my model directly into SOLIDWORKS. Let's move back and just uh, show you another approach. I'm going to, for the purposes of the demonstration, just load one of the freeform shapes that it's in our um, demonstration files, which looks like this. You may want to do something which is freeform in 3D, and for this reason I'm going to use the 3D sketch command. You can learn from the other tutorials how you can create 3D sketches in the most efficient way. But what I'm going to do here, I just draw these curves here, like this one. Double click to finish. You can use the manipulator to create your patches and so on. I can improve, I can make this with a higher density. I can increase the resolution here so they can snap and have more control point and so on and so on. Again, what we're going to do now, we'll go to export and then I will select I just and we'll save it as an IGES file. Let's go back to SOLIDWORKS. What we did, I will just file open into a new document and we'll select the aerosol. Uh, nope, I just don't need to select options anymore because it's already been defined. But as you can see now, I brought these 3D curves in SOLIDWORKS and uh, then you can easily just create your patches and you can create the surfacing here. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching.